This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information and enjoy the show. Autonomous truck technology is not a fad. ZF, a supplier of driveline, chassis, and safety technology, showed off the next step in autonomous technology evolution with its innovation truck. ZF's Highway Driving Assist autonomously maintains the truck's lane and speed. It also takes the next step in autonomy with an electrically driven start-stop functionality that enables the truck to creep along with stop-and-go traffic. Taking autonomous technology to a level beyond that was the unveiling of Evasive Maneuver Assist, a partnership between ZF and Wabco for the Level 2 autonomous system that assists the driver in performing an emergency braking lane change to avoid a collision. Now it's one thing to read a press release, and quite another to sit shotgun in a truck hurtling toward a test barrier on a slick road. Stay tuned to find out what happens next. I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment Magazine. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the phone calls, emails, blogs, likes, tweets, and more. So I'm hitting the road to talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. The test track at RWTH Aachen University played host to the ZF Global Media event and was the demo ground for the new Evasive Maneuver Assist. For a better understanding of the technology and what lies ahead for the autonomous truck trend, I spoke with Dr. Gerhard Gumpolsberger, ZF's Senior Manager, Testing Innovation Management. First, let's break down the footage. The system uses radar sensors to identify moving or stationary vehicles ahead and alerts the driver via visual, audio, or haptic signals like applying the brakes. If the driver thinks the system cannot avoid a rear-end collision by driver-initiated or autonomous braking alone, Evasive Maneuver Assist engages to help the driver safely steer around an obstructing vehicle and bring the truck and trailer to a complete and safe stop in the next lane. Gearhart explains further. We not only measure uh, the distance to obstacles, mm -hmm. cars, uh, we also measure is the car standing mm -hmm. or is he moving mm -hmm. if he's in our safe uh, area. Mm -hmm. um, then we measure, okay, how long does it take then uh, until collision. Mm -hmm. and this is the point, not the distance itself, but the time to the collision. It's important to remember that the driver is still necessary. The driver is the one making sure the next lane is clear of any other traffic and the one initiating the turn. If conditions for a rear-end collision exist and the driver starts the lane change, the truck completes the maneuver safely and precisely. ZF's CEO, Dr. Stefan Sommer, explained that if demand for this type of system exists within the heavy-duty truck marketplace, evasive maneuver assist could be made available within three to four years. Evasive maneuver assist and highway driving assist are two more pit stops on the road to autonomous truck reality. We saw the, the highway assist uh, yes. and now we see the steer assist. What do you think the next step is and, and how long till this becomes a reality on roads? So the next step is uh, not only driving on the highway, but also drive in rural areas, in urban areas, mm -hmm. and then to learn all the situations that you get there. Mm -hmm. uh, are you at crossroads? Um, what's, hap what's happening when you have a very curvy road? Mm -hmm. and, so on. and this is what we have to learn now. Mm -hmm. So we have to go step for step for step mm -hmm. uh, until the big target to get a totally autonomous mm -hmm. For even more knuckle-whitening videos and insightful stories, head over to feontheroad.com.